5 of the best places to live in Newcastle. If you are thinking about moving to Newcastle or the Lake Macquarie area or thinking of visiting, this information will help you make those decisions. Newcastle is about two hours north of Sydney, which is a direct drive up the M1 freeway. It's a coastal city with a population of around 460,000 people. It was predominantly a coal mining area and a steel city up until the end of the 1990s. Since then, it's been in transition to a tertiary employment city. Newcastle is an ever-growing, sprawling city made up of two main council areas, Newcastle and Lake Macquarie. This area has many surfing beaches, a shipping harbour and a CBD is in huge contemporary transition. It has large sporting interests with several teams in national competitions. It has a deep cultural sense with many quality cafes, restaurants and bars and is rich in indigenous and early European history. Socially, Newcastle is a vibrant, friendly place and like every city, it does have small areas to avoid. Bad suburbs are few and far between, so there's many great places to live all throughout this city. And just choosing five suburban or city areas was a difficult one. Each place I've chosen for this review has a higher rating according to a criteria that I would see as important if I was to relocate to another city. The criteria I've chosen for this review is how close or easy it is to get to attractions. This being beaches, shops, theatre, pools, fairs or markets. Transport and moving around the city or needing to move to capital cities. Employment, crime, safety, trend value, shopping, whether it be groceries or retail. Leisure or sports venues, both indoor and outdoor and educational places. The following places I have selected are in no particular order. The first place I'll review is the Newcastle CBD. It's mainly apartment living and there are lots of apartments being constructed currently. It's located in the city centre and has a median property buy-in of around 1.3 to 1.4 million for two to three bedroom. It is close to many of the tertiary employment buildings, so it provides for a short commute to inner city workspaces. Next, the CBD has a great entertainment vibe. There are many pubs and clubs within the precinct and the Civic Theatre is close by for live stage performances. The beautiful beaches of Nobbies and Newcastle Beach are around a five minute bike ride away. There are plenty of restaurants down on the harbour and the light rail can take you from the beaches right down to the end of the city precinct to the transport hub at Wickham. It's a relatively safe area and living in secure apartments gives full enjoyment. I definitely would live here. Next we'll move 2.5 kilometres in a southwesterly direction from the CBD to the inner city suburbs of The Junction and Merriweather. The median property price buy-in is pushing near $2 million for a two to three bedroom house in these areas. These suburbs are located just a few minutes from excellent beaches such as Merriweather and Bar Beach. The cafes are on trend the restaurants are of good quality and the boutique pubs are excellent. These suburbs are located just a few minutes from excellent beaches such as Merriweather and Bar Beach. The cafes are on trend, the restaurants are of good quality and the boutique pubs are excellent. It's a highly affluent area and is considered the chic area of Newcastle, so the boutique shops are popular. Being a sought after area, the property prices are on the higher side. It does have good indoor and outdoor sporting venues close by, which is very good for inner city suburban living. I definitely would live here. Another great place to live is located 3.4 kilometres northwest from the Newcastle CBD. These are the adjoining suburbs of Islington and Maryville. These suburbs have been undergoing gentrification since the early 2000s. The median house price is around $860,000 for a two to three bedroom house. This area is considered an inner city suburb and has a high hip or trend rating, which attracts the artistic crowd. This area has great cafes, good second hand shops and antique shops and is close to the cultural Hamilton area where there are many good quality restaurants 
and more great cafes. It's close to a major transport hub which has buses, light rail and the heavy rail can take you through to Sydney or anywhere in New South Wales. Islington is also a short distance to the harbour and getting to the city only takes a few minutes where attractions can be enjoyed and the beaches are again close at hand. Our next best place to live in Newcastle are the adjoining central suburbs of Lambton, New Lambton and Katara. Yes, three excellent suburbs all joined together. These suburbs are located about six kilometres west of the Newcastle CBD. The median three bedroom house price for these areas is around the $1 million mark. The great features of New Lambton, Lambton and Katara is that they are located five minutes from a Westfield shopping centre and a homemaker centre, which is anchored by Bunnings, Rebel Sport and Freedom Furniture to name a few. These suburbs have an abundance of sporting fields, large public swimming pool and a heritage natural wildlife park all minutes away which is great for families. They have excellent public and private schools and transport can be found in all directions including 5 minutes to Adamstown train station. Being a central suburb, it is quick to get anywhere in the city. It has a high safety factor and is a relatively low crime area. I have previously lived there and it's a great place to live. The fifth place where I would choose to live is the Lake Macquarie suburb of Warners Bay. This place is located 15 kilometres southwest from the Newcastle CBD. Warners Bay has a median house buy-in price of around $930,000. This suburb is situated right next to the large lake in the Lake Macquarie Council area. So there's many places for walking, bike riding, water sports such as fishing, boating, sailing and water skiing. It's also a hip place to be in the Lake Macquarie. It has restaurants, cafes and sporting grounds. It is a very relaxed and very safe area to live and if you can get a lake view it's a beautiful view. Transport is not excessive here so a car or some private transport is essential. There are many more great areas to live in Newcastle. But if you chose to live in any of the suburbs mentioned, you will definitely love the Newcastle lifestyle and what it has to offer.